Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. This is Rifko. I, uh, I just checked the length on my last video. I was right. It went long, and I'm sorry for that. <laughs> Thank you to anyone who actually watches to the end of the two-hour video. Um, okay, hour 45, whatever. So, yeah. Gonna head to Hutzford. In just a second here. And talk to Kima. I also went through and cleaned up my save files. Apparently, uh, it has been... I, I found out that the, the save game page has like a day counter on it. Apparently, we're at like 300 days or something like that since, uh, since Armag. Okay, tell me what went wrong. I don't know. Everything was fine on the first day, and then one evening she just said goodbye. She hid herself inside a tree. What do you mean, hidden her tree? <laughs> She's a dryad. Okay. Her heart knows no mercy. You cannot change her wooden mind. Did he seriously not tell us where? Bayglade, okay. In due time. So just for the record, uh, this one I'm planning on being shorter, especially, I mean, it's definitely gonna be shorter than last time. Uh, but what I wanna do this time is mostly wrap up this. Uh, I'm hoping whatever we do with this quest will be enough to bump us into the next level. I have a thought with one of my new toys, um, specifically this Life Stopper, which is amazing and really, really powerful. Um, and that is, I would like to potentially give it to Amiri. But she needs to be proficient first. So I'm thinking... Oh wait, we don't get beats at level 14. Darn it. So, it'll be a ways off before that's a possibility. But this is a really powerful weapon. You can tell by how much it costs. <laughs> um, I'm still debate up in the air on some of these other items here. Like, this is another one. It's 25,000. Like, it's not that much better than... Technically, it's plus one, and it's mithril, which is nice. But compared to what Valerie's using right now, like, I, I kind of feel like 1 AC and Acid Resist 30 isn't worth the rest of the bonuses. Angelic uh, Aspect is something that's decent, but it's not something I'm going to use regularly. And apparently, it still only costs, or it still only weighs half as much, or it still only weighs the same. But yeah, we'll we'll think about it. I guess technically, could be additional bonuses because it raises the max dex on the full plate to three. So I could actually give her a belt that covers dex. Like if I gave her a dex con belt and the uh, strength gauntlet, or something, or if I get one that does all three, um, then I could theoretically. Have her getting it up to two more I see out of it from her decks. But we'll see. We'll see. Yeah, there's a few other ones here. Like, I'm noticing more and more. We've been getting a bunch of really cool items. I'm trying to keep them in here because we can. Um, 
I may be switching around party members here soon, rearranging gear again. Vaguely. But yeah, the other piece with that was we're not super close, I guess. It seems really close, but then you look at the actual numbers. <laughs> Uh, which would give level 14 is going to give level 7 spells to Ember. Same time go with the Drunken Seder. Here you are. I knew you'd come and change my mind. Emo talks about you every day, you know. Ahem. Oh, Faye. Thou art too cruel for, to the woeful creature, so conquered by thine beauty, his heart is bleeding. He stands idly for all the day, staring into loneliness. Return to Kimiel, for no one can have ever love you such as he. I'll try that. Oh, Shaylin. <laughs> what do you do to us, you treacherous goddess? I know not myself what arises in me. But hurry now, O messenger of love. Find Kimiel and tell me his beloved cannot wait. Okay. <laughs> I'll do that. Tree girls need love too. Apparently. <laughs> Part of me is wondering if we can close that XP gap by just going and exploring the last couple places we, the we haven't. But there's not really that many, and most of the actual, like, most of these things are, or most of the things that we've got left, rather, are probably just going to be random monsters, and those don't give that much XP for fighting them. Big XP rewards are the quests, it seems like. Maybe bosses, but... Grinding out the last little bit of XP seems silly at this point. Especially since it takes so much time to do so. Because what do we actually got left here? Uh, we can't go down here because it's uh, Pitax. We've got another mysterious shrine up here, which we can't do anything at. Flintlock Grassland has an exclamation point because the last time we were there it was the site of a battle, which means it's just a standard place now. There might be something up here. Or down here. Like, we're actually pretty on top of clearing everything out because I took that extra time. I suppose technically we can go back to Tuskdale. And it should actually be pretty efficient to...
sure. We'll grab. You want? Monster casserole? Cheese crustata? Yeah. We only get one of those right now, so let's wait on it. Hey, we've got stuff for fish on a stick. Let's do that. That feels good. I was hoping it'd be something interesting. So this that that actually reminds me of that little motion there. One of the things that I was thinking about when I'm looking at my next when I'm looking at rearranging party is the party moves as fast as your slowest person, typically. Uh, I'm not sure if this is in... Okay, that's not in my realm. This is, and I probably should have gone to it. This is. We'll do those when we do the upper part, I guess. I wasn't even thinking about the fact that this wasn't part of my claim realm. Um, this will go here. But yeah. Uh, the party goes as fast as you... Oh, hey, that's the, uh, the horses. You can see it moving faster there. Ray random non encounters question mark. Follow my lead. Well, that was a waste of time. for the spot to rest.
Gee, we already claimed that one. Can we use that same setup? We can. Okay. Uh, let's do something like... It's not putting instead. But yeah, no, I'm just really curious how the, uh, how increasing the party's speed affects both over, er, I'm curious if it affects overland movement. I'm sure it will affect movement inside because we run into that problem all the time where because the wolf wasn't one of the six portraits, he would run ahead early on. And when there aren't enemies around, as you saw there, um, you know, a few of the people went ahead and a few of the people were still catching up because of the positions they were in. Currently, I believe Ember has a 50, 55 because of that. Valerie's sitting at 45 for some reason. She must have, yep, boots. Rim has a 30, or is it a 30 base? He's got... Looks like a 35 base, and then he can cast Longstrider to get himself another 10. Base 50. Which means right now, Tiss is the odd one out. And Lindsay. Yeah, because both of them have 25 because they're small. Or 20 because they're small. 25 right now. We're going to just nuke this. Because they're giving negative levels, and I don't like negative levels. Jester's Vest. That's kind of terrible. <sighs> I mean, it's neat, but it's kind of terrible. I suppose if I'm going into an area where I'm fighting a lot of um, humanoids, it could be really good. Like if we're fighting assassins or soldiers from another country or barbarians or whatever else.
because Lindsay could use it. And then, I mean, honestly, theoretically, we could, well, no, because she currently has the Robot Master. We'd have to rearrange her setup significantly. Easy enough. Well, we still need 4,000 experience. Which we're probably not going to get before we actually do anything. Actually, you know what? I have a thought. I'm not sure this is the right party for it, but we're going to just give it a shot. There's a thing I never did. <laughs> So if you recall, <laughs> this is the site of the um, the Linorm. Now I'm not sure we're actually ready for that. So we're just going to do a quick save, pre-buff everybody. Oh crap, I forgot something. Oh, well I guess if I can still do it, let's... Let's go in. Let's see how stupid this thing is. I think we may be able to handle it though. right that looks right uh yeah let's just call that good Okay, she must have gotten hit with a... Oh, breath weapon. Okay. Um... And... 
And let's just have her do... Apparently she, or that thing's immune to fire. So chain lightnings. was off on something with the numbers I was looking at. <laughs> well, that's done. So yeah, um, I'm thinking I'm, I'm not going to do the new party on stream because I'm still very much playing with ideas and I don't want to sit here and stare at it while I talk through it. Um, my current thoughts are I might be getting rid of Lindsay finally, because I like Lindsay, but she's very, she is very utilitarian, and if there is not a reason for her to, or and if sometimes there are not things for her to do, um, so I may trade out Lindsay and Tiss. Again, the speed aspect is part of it for Tristian and Amiri. But I'm really not sure where I'm at. I may leave one of them in and take out Harem. I may take out Macondile. I was hoping that after that, or that I'd get the level up to kind of help decide who to take. And I may still do that. Okay. So I'm going to wrap this one up here. We'll head back in and do some more government-y things, probably. Um, hopefully you're still enjoying. If you are, give me a like and subscribe. Check out the other content on my channel. If you have any questions or suggestions, please leave them in the comments. And as always, have a good one.